Okay, meteorologist Dean Davison, Snowplow Nation, live weather blogs, the weather pros. Interesting situation now coming uh, to breast for Hermine, which is now in the Gulf of Mexico, strengthening pretty rapidly. And the problem is, we actually, here on the East Coast, based on the latest models, will have more of an issue with this system. Taking a look at the five day, it shows this will be off the Carolina coast. This is the H Wharf model the Hurricane Center uses. Um, but the other models have actually been shifting further west, and we'll show you that in a minute. As you can see here, models have shifted inland, which could cause a couple more problems. Inland flooding, it may not be a if this thing goes into a remnant tropical system. The further inland it goes, east of it, you're going to have issues with tornadoes. You're going to have issues with rain and wind for your Labor Day weekend, specifically Saturday. And if you look at this thing now, it's really getting its act together. That little pudge, is, little spot in the middle is an eye trying to get together. This thing is really ramping up to be something. So we have to keep an eye on it. And Florida is going to be the first location that gets it. And then we have the issue, like I said, towards Saturday, where this thing is sitting on the North Carolina Virginia border, and that would be the GFS run, which is a GFS for America usually is pretty good. In some circumstances, if the GFS holds with these couple of these other models, this would be something that happens with a low over the Virginia Beach area and heavy rainfall, isolated tornadoes, and wind on Saturday instead of a sunny sky. So we have to really. Be careful to adjust here. This would actually be west of uh, Philadelphia, so the chances of tornadic activity would actually increase on the eastern side of any low that is a landfalling tropical system. So that's what we have for now. We'll keep you updated. Meteorologist Dean Davis in the weather party.